Hello YouTube, this is Daz of the Cameraman. Today is Monday the 22nd of June 2015 and this is a follow on from my video last night where I filmed the crescent moon uh, to demonstrate the effects that the exposure settings on the camera have on the apparent uh, thickness of the crescent moon and that was in response to a video by Marshall Masters where he claimed that KCRA 3 News in Sacramento had filmed Nibiru eclipsing Venus. Now of course it was nothing of the sort, it was simply Venus in the crescent phase which is uh, exactly as it should have been on that date, the 22nd of January 2014. Um, but uh, the, the thickness of the phase uh, appeared to be thicker than what it should have been and that was all because of the exposure setting on the camera which is why I filmed the video last night and uh, I can also demonstrate again in this video. But a couple of people noticed something very strange in that video of the moon last night. They noticed that um, when I had adjusted the camera exposure so that we could see the, the uh, dark area of the moon uh, which was uh, in darkness when the, when the camera is set so that we can see the thin crescent they notice that the, the dark area seemed to be moving independently of the crescent area which didn't make any sense and maybe they thought oh it's a glitch in the moon hologram oh maybe Dazza has filmed a glitch in the moon hologram ah so what was going on well I responded to those comments under my YouTube uh, video that maybe we were seeing the effects of the di digital image stabilizer on the camera which was switched on at the time but anyway I've done a little experiment and uh, I've made this artificial crescent moon using my computer monitor as a backlight and I've used some cardboard to cut the crescent moon in and um, I'm gonna adjust the camera so that we can see the the, the dark area of the moon and we're going to see what happens um, when I move the camera around see if we can simulate what we saw last night when I was filming the moon so first of all I'm just going to move the camera around while I'm zoomed in and I'm going to zoom out as I'm moving the camera around this is before I've adjusted the exposure alright and let's zoom that back in and what I'm going to do now is adjust the exposure setting upward so that we can see the darkened area of our simulated moon just like I did last night when I was filming the real moon okay so I'm adjusting it up and now you can see the dark area of the moon which is actually the side of a serial uh, box you can actually see the printing on the box uh, that is shining through with it with the light from behind okay so now I've, I've actually already tested this and I found that it, it isn't because of the image stabilizer because it will do this whether I've got the image stabilizer turned on or not so let me move the camera around and I know that I can't see this on the camera screen until I play it back on the computer and you and I will be able to see this when we play it back on YouTube but I can't see it on the screen right now but I know that the, uh, the, the features on the simulated dark area of the moon are moving independently of the uh, thin crescent okay so this has actually got nothing to do with the image stabilizer it's actually got everything to do with the way that the camera is processing the light there seems to be a difference between the bright light and the the dimmer light and it handles the the images uh, sort of differently I've actually tried it with the image stabilizer off and it makes no difference so I'll also zoom out and do the same thing because I was zoomed out some ways last night move it around but I think it's easier to see when I'm actually zoomed up but while I'm zoomed out I'm actually gonna simulate as well um, what I was looking at last night and that was the apparent thickness of the thin crescent okay so at the moment the camera is on maximum exposure and I'm going to adjust it downwards now and we're going to see what happens to the apparent size of that crescent okay so you can see that it's getting thinner now which is what I was demonstrating last night in response to Marshall Masters okay let me zoom in and we'll do that again with some zoom on it so we've got a thin crescent I'm going to adjust it up so that we can see the dark area of the moon we can see that the apparent thickness of the crescent has actually increased 
So that's on full exposure and that's on minimum exposure. Okay, so it does make a difference and it does seem to be accentuated uh, if I'm zoomed out. So let's do that again. Take it there, let's put it up all the way. It's thickening it up. Okay, and let's take it back down. I think we get the picture. So, sorry to disappoint people, Dazza did not film a glitch in the moon hologram. It's just the way that the camera is processing the image. And uh, as you can see here, it is an artificial moon on my computer screen. And I'll turn the light on so you can see what I've done. Okay, so you can see I even drew some features on the artificial moon, but uh, we couldn't see those. We could see the printing shining through the through the box there. So it's just cardboard over the front of my computer monitor. And there we have it. So uh, I hope that has cleared up any questions about the moon last night. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.